Hello friends, thank you for joining us to begin secret agent training. We are so excited that you are gonna be helping us. As you know, God gave us big missions to complete. We need to make the world a better place, which is not an easy thing to do. But with your help, we can really do it. We will be your teachers for your 11 weeks of training. I'm Agent Emily, we have Agent Kelsey, Agent Glenn, and Agent Tetley. We will give you everything we can to help you become the best secret agent of God that you can possibly be. We're so glad you're here with us. Hello, secret agents in training. It's Agent Glenn. First of all, we all miss you and love you so much, and we hope you're doing well. And we cannot wait to be able to give you great big secret mission hugs again. So I'm going to read a story to you today about Joseph and his brothers, and basically his entire family. And this is week one. I'm gonna take off my glasses so you can really see my true identity, but don't tell anyone I'm a special agent. Okay. Joseph helps his family. God always watched over Joseph. God spoke to Joseph in dreams, and Joseph used this knowledge to plan ahead. When the famine came, and famine means that they didn't have really any food, people from all over came to find food for their families because they heard that Joseph had saved up for seven years. My goodness, that's a long time. Even Joseph's brothers traveled to Egypt to find food. But it had been such a long time since they'd seen each other that the brothers didn't even recognize Joseph. Can you imagine walking up to your brother or sister and you, can't, you don't even recognize them? Joseph kept the secret of who he was from his brothers for a while, but soon he couldn't wait any longer. Joseph finally told them who he was. I am your brother, Joseph. You sold me to Egyptian traders. Don't feel bad anymore because God sent me ahead of you so that I could save people, including you. This famine is going to last for many years, so hurry back to our father and tell him that I am safe. I want you to bring your families and your children and all of your sheep and goats to live near me. Once Joseph's brothers saw who he was, they all hugged each other and cried. Just like Miss Sandra and Miss Emily and Miss Kelsey and I are gonna hug y'all and cry when we can finally see you. There's gonna be some, a little bit of crying. They jumped up and down with relief and joy. Joseph and his brothers talked and talked and talked. The brothers talked from the time the sun came up until the time the sun went down. When the Pharaoh heard that Joseph's brothers had come, he told Joseph, tell them to go get everyone in your family. I will give them the best land in Egypt to call their own. Joseph gave his brothers wagons, food, and new clothes. And they went back to their father and told him the good news. Now that's a good story, and it does remind us that we need to be nice to our brothers and sisters, right? All the time, even when it's not easy. Okay, now that you've heard the lesson, it's time to open your top secret mission packet for week one. Open it, read it carefully. Remember, your special agents in training, and good luck.
just finished your very first secret agent training lesson. Do you feel proud? I hope so. All right, I would love to high five you if I was there with you, but you're gonna have to help me out, okay? So put your hand up like you're gonna get a high five. If you have a brother or sister there or a parent, they can high five you. But if you're all by yourself like I am, you're gonna have to high five yourself. It's okay, I'm gonna do it with you. Ready? One, two, three, high five. You did awesome. And you learned an important lesson, right? We learned that Joseph helped his family and that it's good to be a helper. We secret agents want to be good helpers too. So now we're gonna take what we learned from the lesson and we're gonna live it out in real life with a secret mission. Are you ready for your secret mission? Okay, I think I heard yeses. All around the, the state of Texas, I think I heard only yeses. So I'm gonna give it to you. This week, you are gonna help someone in your family, kind of like the way Joseph, Joseph did. So you're gonna find a chore that you don't normally do in your house. And you're either gonna do it your whole self or you're gonna help somebody else to do it. So maybe your mom usually sets the table. In that case, maybe you'll ask if you can set the table or at least set the napkins out and help a little bit that way. Maybe you have a brother or a sister who usually takes the garbage out by themselves. This week you could help them or even do it for them if you're big enough to do that. Look for some way you can be helpful that you haven't done before. Maybe you'll learn something new. You can ask a grandparent if you can help cook dinner. Whatever works for you and your family. If you're not sure yet what it's gonna be, talk to your grown-ups in your house or your brothers and sisters and get some ideas. But you can find some way to help your family this week. Are you ready to do your mission? Okay, just before you leave, we're going to do a quick prayer so you can be sent out to do all of your good, making the world a better place. So if you will please join me in prayer, we're going to put our prayer hands together. Dear God, we thank you for choosing us to be secret agents. We thank you for letting us learn from Joseph's story and for teaching us that we can be good helpers. God, please help us to be good helpers to you. Help us to make the world a better place. Jesus, please help us to find a good chore this week that we can help with so that our family has an easier time. We are so excited to do this good thing for you. We love you, Jesus. Amen. And I'll see you guys next week.